uh, a coconut oil I've read has like there for a while it was like the oil du jour but yeah. um, apparently like some of the fats in it aren't super uh, great for you yeah it solidifies at room temperature I mean, that tells you something <laughs> Body's not room temperature though. No, so. no, no. It's, it's anti. It's, it's a lot less inflammatory in some ways. Yeah. It's very palliative. But obviously, none of this stuff is supposed to eat that much. I mean, right, yeah. I mean, it's like. It's oil. It's like pure fat. <laughs> you just, you just want to keep sticking in the pan. I don't think I've ever been on this. Okay. Yeah. So, this is the rail spur that the. Greenway Coalition wants to cross the Mississippi. Ah, So we're going nice. to run into River Road where the, the trestle is. Yeah. So I've come up on Minnehaha, cut across, yep. and call, you know, go to go downtown. But I don't think I've ever been on this. One more street cross, and then it's basically... Actually, there's a couple more streets cross. Yeah. So probably a block that way is where I would have turned. Let me see if I can figure that out just by looking at it. Something like that. But yeah, so you're taking me on a new adventure here. So this, this still carries like, there's one one grain elevator left in Hiawatha. Ah. So like once or twice a week there's a train that takes this. <laughs> Yeah. This crosses the Mississippi. You know, without you could have a dedicated bike only cross. Yeah. But it would cost millions of dollars. <laughs> but the the only two ways to cross now are Franklin or Lake. You know? Yeah. So Lake becomes Marshall. Yes. What does Franklin become? Uh, it actually ends up in Beers into University Avenue. Okay. It, it's a, it originates with the old streetcar line. And so, where 280 is, um, basically Franklin just veers off the university there. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever crossed there. I probably have. It's a little kind of seven corner thing near the U. I've crossed, uh, the pedestrian bridge at the U. Yeah, the old uh, or that's an old railroad crazy. Oh, is that? Well, there's the Washington Avenue Bridge. And then there's an old abandoned railway, kind of like the Stone Arch Bridge. And it's over by the university. Yeah. There's a bike trail on there too. The Dinky Town Greenway. Yeah, that's the one that I've crossed in Dinky Town. I crossed that yesterday and found out that they were finally done with construction over there. Well, I don't know if they've done all on campus, but... Yeah, most of that, yeah, they were trying to get ready about the first day of school. My, uh, I was getting pretty close to the end of the metric century yesterday. And so, I went to go to Trader Joe's to get some bread. And, um, I, uh, it was going to be too short just to go home. Right. So what I did is I just crossed that bridge and then turned around and went home from there. And that was just about perfect. Maybe if I had gone to the bridge and not gone across, that would have been a little closer to perfect. But <laughs> today, let's see what I'm at. I'm at 59.1 miles. You get 77? Huh? No, no, no. 100 today. Oh, 100 miles. No, I was saying 777 for September. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which, I can check if you're doing metric miles or... Yeah, so yeah. Some of the challenges are miles on Strava and some of them are kilometers. Okay. Maybe all of the biking ones are kilometers, to be honest. Got it. But like... I don't really think in kilometers, so um, so I just like made it into miles. So 
it's 776.7 or 8, something like that. Um, so, but uh, I found out it's actually not so hard to change your Strava in between Imperial and Metric. So like yesterday, rather than like, while well, I'm riding, like, think about it. Oh, sure. I just turned it into metric and it was like when I hit 100 I'm good. <laughs> um, so but uh, for today I changed it back to miles. So so after we get done I'll probably go home and charge my battery on my phone for a bit. I guess I need to get a uh, one of those things where you can charge it from your bike. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm just like if I wanted to not listen to music and stuff I think I could make it happen especially if I knew where I was going um, ah so why would it cost millions of dollars so is it still gonna it's not gonna have a train anymore it's just gonna be this point, it still has a train. And if yeah. it, I guess it, if it was going to have a train and a bike line, that would be probably the most expensive. Yeah. I don't know. It seems like I could just slap some wood over it and call it done. I mean, maintenance wise, sure, you know, over time, but, but just to do it. So I'm going to go this way and go home. Ah. So if you want to come with me and take off from there or? Uh, or you can head the other way. I don't know what I want to do. Let's, uh, I'll go this way. Right. Might as well. I'm mean, thinking about Lake. Um, well, I don't... Lake Street's up here. Yeah. Longfellow Grove's up here. Yeah. I mean, I'm in no hurry. I'm staying so. I had a great ride, but I'm going to head home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. That's uh... This is a perfect break for the day, though. Thanks for waiting for the rain. Too. Yeah. No, no problem. It was, uh, like I said, I, I had looked at the forecast yesterday and it didn't say anything about rain. Well, it's okay. We kind of needed it. The yard's getting dry. Uh, I hate water. It's the dumbest thing. Yeah. It doesn't like stuff to get too dry. So. Yeah. I might do. Do you know how far we are from uh, Minnehaha when we get up here to Lake? Um, it's, I don't know. I mean, probably don't want to ride on Lake. I guess. Well, no. I mean, like, so what I was thinking was that I would just go on to Minnehaha and then go there and then go home. Yeah. But I'm not sure how far that is. Oh, it's not. Minnehaha is not maybe a mile. Okay. What I'm saying is Lake Street, you, you probably want to get one block off of Lake Street. Yeah, yeah, no, I was saying, I was just going to go, like, so here's Lake up here. I was just going to keep going. Okay. And go, oh, Minnehaha Falls, sorry, yes. There's multiple Minnehaha's. You were thinking Minnehaha Ave or whatever, yes, whatever the road can, is called. Yeah. Beginning, you'll basically retrace our steps if you go down. Yeah, 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 I know. I've been down here. I just don't have a sense of, like, how far it is. Oh, it's Like, I know from my place it's seven miles. I know that. But like, how far is this into that? I think it's like halfway. It's probably like three. Three? Okay, yeah. So we're a little, a little past halfway. Maybe, maybe I'll just go home. I don't know. You could also, if you want to take Lake over and then you could get on yeah. East River Road. That's what I did this morning when I did my loop around St. Paul. Yeah. So, yeah. I think what I'll do is just turn around here and when we get to the curve. So. But uh, yeah, I will, uh, just so you know, I don't really plan on doing a lot of editing. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is make a playlist and put the GoPro uh, divides the files into four gig chunks. Okay. And then I'll put all those in a playlist and call it a show. Sure. We'll so, just, like you said, see what yeah. it sounds like. Uh, yeah, we'll do. Have a good one.